All right, taking a little drive through the uh, backside of uh, Carlsbad here. Coming across the uh, Carlsbad Lagoon. There's a beautiful little crane sitting on the fence right there. Um, yeah, so this is the uh, Buena Vista Lagoon. This comes around the backside of Carlsbad, which leads down into the village. Nice little drive through here. So if you haven't been through this road, it's a really cool area. So up to the, uh, the left side over here where the hillside is, that's pretty much old Carlsbad. Um, you know, when you kind of consider Carlsbad, you know, kind of coastal downtown Carlsbad area, up in the hillside between El Camino Real and the, uh, the five freeway is really kind of what you consider like old Carlsbad. A lot of older homes, uh, you start to see single level homes up here. Um, see a lot more homes that are just, you know, built existing from the, uh, geez, I mean, some of them are, you know, early fifties, some are even older. We get some Victorian homes uh, through here. Um, this is coming around, wrapping around now through, uh, this is uh, Las Flores here. So you can see nice view of the lagoon that goes out there. Over on the right side here, there's a couple of cliffside kind of lagoon homes that are over there. Um, those are somewhat newer. Um, but yeah, what I want to do is drive over to uh, Las Flores here. So this is crossing Las Flores. Um, we're uh, make this turn up here. So we're just coming off of Jefferson Street, turning left onto Las Flores. And now we're gonna cross over the five freeway, going into that old Carlsbad uh, location that I was talking about. Um, this is really kind of the, the sweet spot jewel of Carlsbad. Um, it's, it hasn't been really touched or modified too much. We've seen a little bit of new construction coming in here at times with some of the older lots, some of the older homes that have you know, come and gone through here. Um, but for the most part, this is really where you get that charming kind of Carlsbad vibe. I mean, you can see people just walk in and pick up their kids from school. The school's right here. All the homes, you know, this is kind of a, a nicely planned community where it's that traditional plan where the homes are really just right across the street from the school. And that's just what really attracts me to this, this part of Carlsbad more so than some of the um, newer developments as you get down towards, you know, like uh, Aviara or going, you know, further down in like La Costa areas, you know, they have their great features, but this is kind of the essential slow down, real neighborhood vibe of, uh, of Carlsbad. Just beautiful homes throughout here. Look at these palm trees. Just so much more uh, mature growth trees as we come through here. Um, this is now turning into Highland Drive. Highland Drive is the uh, kind of well-known street, um, obviously Highland, because this runs along one of the kind of upper ridge levels of Carlsbad. So a lot of the homes up here tend to get some nice ocean views. Um, and we, we start to see just a lot more kind of each house is its own unique you know, design. We see craftsman design next to kind of a Victorian. We'll see the little single level um, beach bungalow. Um, throw in a couple of uh, mid-century designs in here as well just a cute neighborhood cute road uh, but as you can see we start you know we, we do have some lots some empty lots that have you know recently been uh, you know an older much older home have been scraped down and they'll put on some of these big lots I mean some of these lots you know can be a, an acre lot you know just a really long kind of narrow lot um, and they'll get those and developers will come in here and, and put several homes, kind of more of a traditional, modern, you know, design of what you'd see much closer together. Um, but the real charm 
in this area is this, you know, driving through a nice quiet street, you know, just a lot of nice big trees. Um, I'm really glad she, she stopped. <laughs> um, but this is really, uh, it's just so quiet and beautiful out through here. It's really just adorable. The thing I love the most is honestly just the the trees and kind of the uniqueness of each property. We get so many so many neighborhoods now that um, you know in the newer subdivisions where they you know they just don't have a lot of mature growth trees. You know when new home communities built, they're putting in you know newer, younger trees, and you know obviously they're gonna with plans of them growing up, but um, you don't see a lot of that mature growth out here. Uh, so like even this tree here, you get some of these real coastal um, breeds of trees that almost kind of have uh, something you'd see in, in the Bay Area. Really beautiful. So right now we're crossing um, Chestnut. So if you take Chestnut, this will take you all the way down straight to the 101. Um, really uh really great drive um but that's pretty much how close you are i mean a lot of the families that live up here you know they just their, their kids are really close they go to school around the corner um it, it's just such a, a tight community vibe up here and such a really really just kind of a step back from that kind of busy busy city or busy kind of subdivision um, plan. And you can see obviously it's kids running around everywhere, which I love because kids running around everywhere is a good sign that you're in a good neighborhood. When kids can <laughs> cruise around, have fun, play around, feel safe, that's how you know you're in a really great neighborhood and one that watches out for everyone else. So. Yeah, over here, you can see we've got a big truck delivering uh, some equipment here for new development that's going down this entire hillside. And they're putting in a lot of uh, very contemporary, modern styled homes at times. Um, it just depends. What I'll see sometimes is that you'll have a, a developer that'll come in and do a planned subdivision. Those tend to be a little bit more you know, just modern homes that, you know, the general home buyer is looking for. Um, but then you'll have, you'll have some uh, homeowners, you know, investors that are actually building out their own property. So they're buying lots to build out their, their dream home, not to sell, but basically building out their dream home. And that's when you really see some creative architecture, you'll see some really, really unique properties. And, and those are great too. I mean, obviously every community has to have a, um, you know, a bit of evolution and a bit of updating over the years. So here's where we're kind of split. So Highland Drive goes off to the right. We're gonna continue down Hillside Drive. Hillside Drive now takes us into a little bit of a, more of a, lesser known part of Carlsbad altogether, um, where a lot of people really don't, don't venture down here. Even people that live in Carlsbad really don't come down here much or really know much about, you know, this kind of little community down here. So we're going to now turn on to Park Drive. So you can see down here, it's starting to open up a little bit more. So we're getting a little bit more open spaces down here. Not as condensed. Um, you know, obviously we've got some uh, little community we're coming through here as well. So these are kind of more modern uh, homes here. You know, these are all uh, homes that were, were built, you know, typically you know, around the kind of you know, late 70s, early 80s. Um, this is a really cool little spot though. So this is actually kind of its own little harbor down here. Um, and so now we're in a part of Carlsbad where you can actually have a boat and you can dock it 
at your own slip right in front of your house. Um, this is not a part of Carlsbad that really a lot of people know about and it's a really interesting community because all the homes down here you know they they have their own little harbors so this is called Bristle Cove in Carlsbad and it's a fantastic little spot to come down here you can you know take a kayak out here and you know paddle around um, really cute neighborhood it's quiet it's really low-key but it's also kind of an exclusive uh, place to be because it's it's really kind of off the beaten path it comes around the back side here of the um, the uh, Batiquitos uh, Lagoon um, so we kind of go from one lagoon to the next here in Carlsbad so Carlsbad's very well known obviously for the beach and beach community and the downtown Carlsbad life you know with a lot of the bars and restaurants that we have but we're also known for these large lagoons that we have separating our spaces and um, this is one of them so yeah that's a nice little uh, quick tour quick drive from uh, kind of one end of old Carlsbad to the next and if you're looking for something down here let me know this is a really cool spot really nice area and there's so much uh, so much dynamic change in neighborhood you know from one neighborhood to the next there's a lot of different uh, places to to live down here depending on what you're looking for if you're looking for the family life with the kids more of a in the you know closer to downtown life you know maybe you're a single professional couple or maybe uh, retired you just want a little bit more of a walkability to restaurants and things Carlsbad's got it all so that's it for today. Hope everyone's doing good and uh, I'll catch you next time.